Oh, hello there. Welcome to the Biotopes. You call me here, I'm just feeding my Daphnia culture. And uh, what we feed Daphnia is a little baker's yeast and some water. And just shake it up really good and dump it in there with them. When the water becomes clear, you want to feed them again. And uh, just a little bit of light, a bubbler, and it's great live food for a long, long time. So I'm so glad you guys stopped back in today. Today we're going to get an update on the Costa Rican biotope. The tank is finished, all the fish are in, everything is set, and I can't wait for you guys to see it. Thanks for tuning in. Alright, welcome back. This is the finished Costa Rican biotope. It was a ton of fun to build and research. Uh, this particular biotope is uh, really built around the San Juan River Basin, drainage basin, and that is in north central Costa Rica. It's on the Atlantic, uh, Atlantic drainage side, so all the water drop, drains into the Atlantic Ocean. Um, so it's on that side of the country, but what we've got in here is um, really a snapshot of what one of those rivers might look like and obviously in the aquarium you know your interpretation is obviously really up to you which is all the fun of it but we've got um, just a great collection of fish so uh, let's start off with just the overall build we've got a uh, pea pebble and pool filter sand substrate uh, some rocks, some driftwood, some sticks. Uh, our plants are two types. We've got the uh, Valcinaria jungle val. You can see it along the back there. And the other plant we have is uh, Kambamba, Kambamba aquatica. And uh, what I've done is just kind of let it, let it go. Um, these fish in here, in particular, if you know anything about these fish, before I go over them, they can be a little bit rough on plants. Um, so, if anything gets pulled up, I just kind of replant it periodically. They will uh, kind of pull at some of the kambamba leaves, but I just let it go. Um, it's just all part of the ecosystem, and the plant regenerates and sends out new shoots and so forth. So, the first set of fish we have in here are the knife live bear and you'll see these guys a lot up at the top and this is Alfaro cultratus really great little live bear that's one of the males there uh, our big female is right here I got a really male heavy I've got this one female she's had uh, several uh, batches of fry <clears throat> but you can see that yellow uh, coloring on them. They've got a really nice blue eye. Um, the adult males will get a little bit of a kind of black rim on the tail, on the fin. Well, I can see this guy right here, kind of that black edging to it on that male. Um, they've got a little bit of iridescence along the sides and uh, just that really cool buttery yellow uh, coloring. So a lot of fun. I've got that female, a bunch of males. I've got some fry that are just growing up in here. Sorry for the focus there. Camera's trying to catch up. A lot going on here. And they just kind of hang up here at the top most of the time. Our next fish, one of my favorites are the uh, here tilapia multispinosis. This is the rainbow cichlid. <clears throat> We've got 11 in this tank. Um, they're all, um, they're breeding age, but they're not full grown. They're probably, oh, I don't know, probably two to three inches in length. Um, again, you can see they get that really great yellow coloring. Um, some dark blotch along the side. That one fish kind of towards the back, that is, um, he's, I think she is taking care of uh, two fry that have survived in here. 
So she is still in kind of that uh, defending mode. You can tell by her colors. Um, but just a really cool fish. You get that orange eye, kind of blue edging on some of the fins. Um, really, really neat fish. Pretty peaceful. Um, we'll kind of pull at some plants from time to time, but uh, nothing too bad. And then finally, our showpiece fish right here is a female Nicaraguan cichlid. Uh, this, the name uh, is tough for me. It's Hyphor, Hy, Hypsophorus nicaraguensis. Um, but she is really nice. She's not fully grown. She may get to be eight inches, um, but really cool, kind of blue on the front of the head. That kind of yellow underbelly, really neat kind of spotting along the sides and the, the tail. Um, she will chase some of the fish around a little bit. Not, not, she's not, not that I can tell, have done any damage to these kind of sub-adult uh, rainbow cichlids or even the alfuros. Um, uh, we're getting some kind of breeding kind of dance over here with these two guys. Just cut it off camera. Um, but anyway, the Nicaraguan cichlid is a really fun fish. The females actually get more color than the males, and they stay a little bit smaller, so I went with uh, the female, and uh, she's awesome. They love sifting through the sand. Um, as you can see, they move the rocks and sand around a lot. Uh, they've kind of dug this little pit here on the bottom. There's lots of small pits that have that have been dug over time. You can see one back there. This tank's been set up probably, oh, not quite a month, I would say. Um, but it's been a lot of fun. It's really great. Um, throw some fertilizer in there uh, every five days or so, um, just to kind of keep the plants going. Um, but this build really came out really great. Um, you know, all that's I've got on here is a four foot uh, Phoenix Stingray. Uh, you can see it's just hung from the ceiling. And uh, I've got some uh, polycarbonate sheets for lids there. It's got our overflow in the back there and our outflow here that comes from our sump underneath this system. This is part of probably 155 gallon system with tanks and sump all together. This is a 75 gallon on its own. And um, yeah, I mean, I pulled fry out of here from the rainbow cichlids already. Uh, I let that that one uh, spawn kind of go and I think there's two left still in there. And I don't know if we can see them. They usually hang out towards the back. I'm not seeing them right now, but if I get some B-roll of it, I'll show you guys two small, two small babies. I'm guessing it's back there, but with the lighting, uh, they stay pretty well hidden. It's pretty remarkable that it's, they lasted this long. So anyway, that is the. Uh, the Costa Rican biotope, again, it's the San Carlos River drainage. And um, three types of great fish. It's got that kind of yellow theme on the fish. Um, and it's a great splash of color to go with the, the green of the plants, the brown of the wood and rocks and sand. Um, so really excited. Hope you guys like it. Let me know what you guys think. Um, Excited to see how this tank develops. Probably will uh, pull out some alferos and some uh, rainbow cichlids over time. But um, yeah, it's been a lot of fun. There's a Nicaraguan kind of picking at that Kambamba a little bit. Um, but a lot of personality in this fish and I hope you guys enjoy it.
If you have any questions or comments, please make sure you put those down below. I'd love to answer any questions you have about this particular build, the fish, the plants, the tank itself, the uh, system to set up. Uh, I'd be happy to share with you guys and, and uh, you know get your thoughts. I hope you enjoy it. All right, everybody, so we're done. The Costa Rican tank, again, this is the San Carlos River Basin, uh, North Central Costa Rica. All done with that build. It was a lot of fun, as I said earlier, just research and just get the plants in there, fish, escape, uh, the whole thing. So really enjoyed it. Hope you guys did too. We've got another biotope build coming up soon. This one's going to be an Australian biotope. So if you got any thoughts on the Costa Rican tank that we just finished, or what you'd like to see in the Australian, Australian biotope, or what part of Australia maybe you think this one's going to be from, or what fish you think we're going to have, again, I think you're going to be surprised. I'm really looking forward to this build. Um, if you like this type of stuff and you're into biotope aquariums, please give me a subscribe and uh, give me a like. It really helps us out a lot. And I'd love to get some feedback and have a conversation with you all too. So. Thanks so much for tuning in, and we'll see you next time in the Biotopes.